I got my thread right here and my mom right now is gonna do my eyebrows and my, oh, <laughs> my finger. That looks kind of creepy, like, <laughs> um, oh my gosh, uh, eyebrows and upper lip. Yeah, yummy. Okay. <laughs> this stand is broken, oh my gosh. No, because it's really bad. I'm so scared. You should not take some things like this. Like squeeze. Oh, like a like a mountain. Like a like a stress ball. No, I think I'm fine. I'm so scared. Mask, it hurts. Ah, okay. Oh, your hand's blocking it. Mm. <laughs> Mike, you're like plucking my nose hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Continue. You have to find me. This is a very good one. I know, this is like punishment. <laughs> I know, it's like I shaved or something. You don't want? Man, I don't shave with a face. Itchy. <laughs> Calm down. You can wait. Open it. No, because then it's gonna be too short. Wow, it's so dry, but <laughs> at least there's no hair. Ew, mom, my skin is really dry. <laughs> mom, mom, you're not done your work yet. Right here. Oh, silly, how are you? Mom, no, no breaks, no breaks. Too bad. Come, come back. Plus, mom, milky skin, silly. It's like so little. <laughs> Better not be lopsided. Yeah, sign to you, you be your goyidian. So, no, but I'd rather goyidian. No, like, I don't like super thick eyebrows. No, but you look so handsome. My eczema is so bad. Guys, you know, sometimes when my eczema gets really bad at my cupid's bow, um, my mom, she like threads off the dead skin. <laughs> like she's not even threading the hairs, it's she's threading the dead skin, but. Damn, I look clean. My lips are on fire ATM because um, this is dry as hell. So I'm gonna put some this is my favorite lip balm it's so good like i don't know if you guys i basically like if i feel any menthol or like pain then i enjoy it like is that bad for eczema because i don't know i'm okay i'm starting off this vlog in the morning duh but because i'm in my pajamas but basically today is lucas's birthday and I wanted to surprise him, but he, he already knows what I'm doing. He literally planned it out. He's like, Mika, so you're going to make me cake pops. And I want them like the candy melts. And I want them this shape. I want them this um, recipe. Do you even have a recipe? Like you can go on the Scran Lines website and he has a few like vanilla cake recipes because he makes really good cake. Um, and he uses yogurt and we have yogurt. Like, okay, girl, calm down. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm making Lucas cake pops this morning because um, he has school and then he comes back home at around noonish. So I'm really excited to begin. So I'm thinking of using this huge um, baking tray because it's really shallow and like there's a lot of surface area so the cake bakes faster. And this is an old sheet of baking paper, um, I mean parchment paper. 
this the spots on top is the granola that lucas made so it's like clean basically um so yeah i'm just gonna use this and hopefully it'll take no time to bake oh my gosh i'm not even sure what the heck goes into like a vanilla cake so i have for all purpose sugar here and baking powder i think we ran out of baking soda so this recipe better not have baking soda because then i'll, I'll be screwed basically because then i can't make a good cake and lucas is so picky Oh my gosh, if you guys watched the last video, you know he's really picky. I have to make this perfect, guys. And he wanted vanilla, so I'm going to have to make vanilla. And thank God he doesn't want chocolate because we don't even have, like, cocoa powder left. So, this is good. Oh, we need vanilla extract. Hmm. Right here. Oh, running low. What is my hair today? so itchy oh my gosh um okay i just remembered that I had to take out butter from the freezer and the fridge so i have um a block of butter and these are vegan sticks um i think i'm gonna use the vegan sticks into the recipe the cake recipe and then obviously use the butter the cow's butter for the frosting Oh my gosh, I need to find a recipe still. Okay, I'm going to use the scran line because I feel like he's so... Everything he makes is so perfect and so beautiful. I just... Mm, I know this is going to be good. I know that this will be good. I don't know about y'all, but I'm definitely not a measurer because I believe that um, baking is an art. You can just do whatever the heck you want and then it'll come out nice or it just won't come out nice, you know? Um, because, like, if you want... If you're gonna become consistent, like, it'll, the baking will, will just get, like, really boring and, like, you know, you want a surprise every time you bake. So, wow, I'm, like, huffing and puffing and I haven't even started and I'm, like, sitting down to do this recipe. <gasps> oh, my God. Baking balls! Oh, my gosh! Well, I suck at baking! Do I have to put this in the microwave? Probably. What is 125 grams? Is it one whole thing? One whole stick? Y'all, I just have to show you something. Like, look at my family. We're, like, growing. What is this? I don't know if they're going to plant this. Like, is this an indoor plant? Because it's, like, winter time right now. There's snow in the ground outside. Like, I don't know what the heck they're going to do, but... Yeah, I just want to show you our little pets. So, 265 grams of caster sugar. Lucas said that he adds a lot of sugar, so I'm going to have to down, down it. Wait, no, that does not make sense. I'm going to have to bring it down, lower the amount of butter, I mean sugar. Gosh, I cannot talk this morning. Okay, so you're going to take a ladle, because like that's like what I think is appropriate. I'm just gonna put it in here. Two oh six, perfect. Just switch the numbers around, and we have the sugar. With baking powder, I never measure. Like I don't know who measures baking powder. I'm just like, girls, add whatever the heck you think is appropriate. Mm, okay, I think that's appropriate. Let's just show you guys. That much. Okay. Next. 4.29. Oh. Ooh. As y'all can tell, I cannot bake for my life. I just learned everything from Lucas. Like, he's so particular with everything he does. Like, he's super meticulous. And, you know, if I screw this up, he will be mad. So, I definitely cannot. Did I just see? Okay, never mind. I definitely can't screw this up. I'm way over on the flour, I just realized. I'm gonna take my handy dandy ladle and scoop out some of the flour because I screwed up badly. I like went way over.
Whoopsie daisies. By the way, guys, this is Lucas's homemade yogurt. I can ask him to share on my channel, like, how to make this if you guys don't know how to make it, which is actually super easy. You just literally cook milk and yogurt. Yeah, the culture. And bam, you have yogurt. That's how easy it is. And then to make Greek yogurt, it's literally just, you just strain out the whey. That's it. That's that's so easy guys literally, but I love Greek yogurt so much and the one time we strained out so much whey that or like lactic acid I don't really know what it is That it was like so doughy like it was like doughy yogurt because it was so thick Okay, all the wet ingredients are mixed together Kind of looks like flan base a little bit. Okay, not really um Okay, now we're gonna do wet into dry. Hello, I'm back. I wore protection and here I've creamed some butter. Now this butter, even though it was softened and I even nuked it in the microwave for like 10 seconds just to get a little more soft, it was like fighting against me. I literally had so much trouble trying to like whip this up. Uh, but eventually it got soft and fluffy. I think this is, wait, maybe it needs to be a little more fluffy. Okay, I'll be back. Looking at this, I literally feel like my arteries are getting clogged at this second. Like, it is so thick and oily. Gosh, I have to wear a mask because these fine ass particles will move anywhere and everywhere. Here's what... The frosting looks like. Now, does it taste good? Hmm. I oh, you can't see my face. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, forgot to put some vanilla. Look how creamy it looks. Ooh. Okay, so the frosting is now done. I did put it in the milk and I put some in a container just in case um, it's too much because I'm gonna be putting the cake in here but if there's not enough then i'll add more from this container by the way this is what the cake looks like which i'm so happy it didn't form a crust or like caramelized at the top because this way it'll still be nice and soft for the um what is that called cake pop so my mom just came home from costco and she literally bought this meal and we're gonna surprise lucas when he comes home Happy birthday. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna sing for you. No, that'd be kinda weird. Wait, do you wanna close your eyes and see? Sure. My god, three, two, Mississippi, one, one and a half. Oh. <laughs> okay, but whatever. No, I just want I want Lucas come back. What is this? It's Putin. Oh, wow. And look, mommy made ravioli. Yeah. So in this box, I made you something special, something that you asked for. <gasps> How cute wow. are these? They're really cute. They look like turds, but aren't they so cute? Like, don't they look so they good? They look like delicious turds. I hope the chocolate set. I mixed both chocolates because the white chocolate almost wasn't enough. It's like kind of set. I want to eat one. I don't know. We'll see. Just <laughs> yeah. Take a bite. Yeah. I give it like. An eight, I guess. <gasps> oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my gosh, thank you, Lucas. This does not look so good. Mm. Can you grab me a bowl, please? Say it to the camera. What did you say about my cake pops? They're more of a nine out of ten. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I swear, every single time I try to, like, bake, I always 
keep my area pretty clean. I clean right after, but like on myself, of course I choose to wear white and I get chocolate all over myself. Oh. Lucas's birthday present, getting into U of T. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, because I'm so proud of you. I'm Thank so you. proud. Thank you.